I must be out of my bloody mind. Whew. I've just been in the car for the last hour waiting for this storm to clear. And it's cleared, it's passed over, but the wind, my God. It's so windy out here. Um, luckily it's offshore. Every other option today for fishing was completely out of the window. So we've come down to a surf beach. Nice, very stiff offshore breeze. It's probably about 20, 25, 30 knots at the moment. Luckily over my shoulder, so it might actually help my casting a little bit. We're gonna go down here, see if we can catch some plus size salmon. Fingers crossed. Ooh, she's windy. This might be a donut. So I've managed to find a little spot, a bit of shelter from the headland down here at Waipinga at the moment. And the conditions are looking pretty good. We're just protected by this headland down in this corner at the point. And I reckon I can see a salmon school. So yeah, pumping to get it. Oh, check that wave out. Beautiful. Yeah, one of those days. No other real options to do because it's so windy. There's no way in hell I'd get the boat out. And it's just the wrong direction for anything. So, make the most of what was supposed to be a really rainy day. And uh, yeah, hopefully spin up some salmon. Didn't actually think it was gonna be this warm. I'm all rugged up. I think I'm gonna have to lose some layers. I'm actually cooking at the moment. Wow, what a day. You wouldn't even think it's as stormy as hell up there, but it's stormy, it's windy, it's real nasty. But down here, little oasis. Mad school salmon, big school. So we can find the big boys. Let's see if I can cast far enough. Yeah, I reckon that's a school just there. Oh, no, nah, I really need more than that. This is where a 10 foot rod could come in handy. I did see a few smaller salmon around. So I'm gonna chuck on a smaller jig. This one's about 20 gram. 30 would be better, but uh, 20 will have to do. Oh, I do have a couple of 30s here. I might chuck on one of these fleas afterwards, but I'm just going to give these two a run. Hopefully catch a couple of the small ones, get something on the board, and then uh, start looking for the big boys. So I'm just using clips at the moment. Just saves time. I don't have to keep retying all my lures on all the time. So, um, yeah, if you're constantly switching out, clips can help. I don't find these ones too bad. I haven't had one of these fail me yet. Seem to be pretty good so far. Keep using them until I lose something, and then... Uh, I might rethink that. <laughs> right, let's go get some little ones. Actually have a flick off these rocks. It might just give me a little bit more range off the point to get to where I want to go without having to battle the battle the waves. That's a thought anyway. Reality is always a different question. Much lighter lure, but I'm still getting the range, which is good. A dark patch just there. I'm wondering if that could be, that could be fish. Put a cast there afterwards. I'm out there at the moment. I definitely got. Oh, there's a seal there.
kind of little fella. Not the big ones I'm looking for though. Hey right, buddy. Woo. Now I'll get a couple more of them. Then we'll go looking for some big ones. Yeah, they're right in the shallows. Right in the shallows. Right at my feet. Look at them, look at them, look at them. Phew. Oh, they're after it. They're after it. Wow, they come right in the shallow. Just another little fish. It's got a couple of little little baby ones, but it's not exactly what I'm after. I'm after the big South Australian winter salmon. So we're gonna up anchor, shoot that way, go look at another beach, and hopefully we find those big boys. So what's it all about? You're gonna be hopeful. You never know. 